What's good, booze? It's Sheen Boo, and you already know. Welcome to Los Angeles. It's Sheen Boo, and you already know, today we'll be trying out Beauty Bakery, woo! For the first time, I've been looking at Beauty, beauty Bakery for quite some time, and I just haven't tried it. No rhyme, no reason, but it's time. Hey, no rhyme, no reason, but it's time. Beauty Bakery on my mind. <laughs> Sheen Boo, she can rhyme <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> I'm a hot mess. I, I thoroughly enjoy myself. Um. <laughs> anyways, let's try Beauty Bakery. So their aesthetic, Beauty Bakery, is around baking. So... Um, if this is your first time seeing it, be prepared to be shook. If it's not your first time seeing it, see it again, because it's cute. This is the baking flour. Isn't that cute? It looks like a bag of flour. This is the praline. I want some cookies. This is the plantain caramel baking flour. Let's open her up. I hear that sounds so satisfying. Hopefully the AC isn't too loud. And this is what it looks like. Ooh, look at that glow. Take a screenshot, take a screenshot. I have another one in Kavasa Yellow. Same, same package. Opening this up is just so satisfying to me. Take a screenshot, take a screenshot. Alrighty. We have the always spray your sweet. So this, doesn't this look like uh, what you spray your pan with before you put your cookies on? Cute, huh? We have the foundation and 317W, which is warm. This is what it looks like. So, because of the current situation with what's going on, I couldn't swatch anything. And I'm looking at some of these in the packaging like they look a little off. But I know how to finesse, so let's finesse if we need to. Hopefully we don't have to finesse. It's official. The tutorial can start. Let's get into Z makeup. So now that we're done clowning around, and for some reason I just feel like showing extra personality today that y'all probably never seen. Y'all like, who is this? Is this the real Shingo? Um, <laughs> it is y'all, but we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna take our beauty sponge.
So I'm gonna go ahead and take some of the foundation and put it over my eyebrows since uh, this concealer is just way too, way too thick. I like a yellow undertone foundation because I have a yellow undertone, but my skin tone is still deep. And this is giving me more yellow, but again, they're not letting you try makeup in the store right now, so it's a little more challenging to find your match, but it can be done. I may just have to take it back and get a, a deeper shade. Now I'm having a hard time with these colors. I feel like I look like Ghost City right now. And I'm about to look like Ghost Nation adding this concealer. I'm gonna have to go back to the store today and get some deeper colors if they have it. This concealer dries really, really fast. wait to makeup stores go back to normal because this is kind of a fail because the colors just don't match so it's like the colors don't match and I can't try it in on that in at the store so Smells like coconut and it feels good. It has nothing to do with the products. It's just the fact that I wasn't able to find my right shade. We're gonna go to the store. All right, booze, let's give this another try. It's a whole new day. It's actually a lot of days later. Uh, as you can see, the stuff that I had got wasn't really working out and I just wish wish that things will go back to normal so we can try on our shade in the store so I don't have to return stuff as much. Like I literally told the lady at Alta I didn't want to be labeled because I've been returning so much stuff just simply because the color match or because I can't test it out in the store. You know, that Rona. All right, so I went back and I got the shade 315W. I think I showed you guys the box when I first had got it. So 315W, that tool, that matching tool. Okay, so when I match, use the matching tool with beautybakery.com, it said I was 317W. And then when I did it with Alta's foundation matching tool, it said I was a even lighter color. So me and the lady in the store, I forget her name, but if you're watching, comment down below, you know who you are. You said you're gonna subscribe. So I hope that you did so you could tell them, girl, cause you was amazing. And I told myself I was gonna remember your name. It was a sister, but I don't remember her name. Uh, but she helped me, like we literally just opened all of them up and like kind of looked at them and was like, no, that'll work, that won't work. Cause we couldn't do no swatches. So um, then, I got the lip gloss in the shade. What shade did I get? This is what it looks like. Snickerdoodle Lip Whip. So Snickerdoodle Lip Whip. Nice nudie neutral color like I like. So I got that. And the other concealer that I had was like, the concealer by far was the thing that just was not working, okay? I know it was just too bright. So I got Creme Du Slay. This looks a little light too, but I may be able to work with it. So, 
let's give it another try. Let's just give it another try. Cause I've heard nothing but great things about Beauty Bakery. And I really wasn't having any problems with it other than the shades. I'm gonna go ahead and see if we can use this concealer to carve out our eyebrows. Alrighty. So I'm just gonna dip it right in here. You know what, let's drag it down to our eyebrows too. Let's give this concealer a fair chance. Okay, it definitely blends out very smoothly. And this color is better than the other one. are done let's get into the foundation uh, do I want to use a sponge or a brush we should use our Morphe foundation brush for this uh oh this might be a good match going right into my skin but I'm thinking maybe we should try a beauty blender because this is kind of eating it up it's a little the foundation is kind of liquidy so we're gonna wet our sponge lady in the store helped me match it better than the matching tool. And I went to a different altar that, that I went to the first time. This is like my skin color in a bottle. Yeah. Y'all, this blends right down. It's like barely there. It's like a very bare skin layer, but I still feel like it's good coverage. Let's add another layer. A little bit of this kind of goes a long way. Y'all, this is my skin in the bottom. Look at my face and my neck. It's matching good. I haven't even put anything on my forehead and it's matching perfectly. Like in between my eyes forehead, like right here. And uh, yeah, 
We have a match. <laughs> Finally. Cause I'm not gonna lie. I was like, I was so excited to try Beauty Bakery and then they had 50% off of those setting powders. And then like the foundation and concealer didn't work out, which is like the base. And then the um, setting powders, they're okay, but I returned them cause I like what I have better. And I actually, it really wasn't the setting powder. Well, kind of didn't like the setting powder that much, but the colors were definitely too bright. And I, and I got the two darkest colors. So those did go back. And then I returned everything cause I'm like, the setting spray worked really good, but I'm like, I don't want to just review the setting spray. So I took it back. And then when I went to go exchange everything or go back to repurchase the Beauty Bakery, that store didn't have the setting spray. So um, get the setting spray, get the foundation. Um, I feel like I'll try the setting powders again when they come out with a darker color. The concealer did good around my eyebrows, but let's see how it does on my face. So. Still pretty bright, but deeper than the first one that I had. So we're gonna see if we can work with it. Cause I'm gonna set it with powder, which will help with the color anyway. It's a very smooth, thick concealer so far. It's not like the foundation, it's very thick. So we're also gonna let this sit for a little bit before we blend it. done touching up my eyes and my eyebrows let's go ahead and blend this out this is a real techniques beauty sponge that I cut in half and that's the best decision I could have made because it's perfect for this and I can even fold it too like I did earlier with my um, when I was using it to set my eyes it's the same thing I had I just have folded it like this So I would say the concealer is definitely full coverage. So less is more and it dries down pretty quick. So let it sit for a quick second, but not as long as I did. I'll let it sit for probably about two minutes, maybe do 30 seconds because it does dry down quick. And once it dries, it's not moving very much. Like I can make it move, but it's not moving very much. Let's go ahead and spray it with some water. Wake it back up a little.
now we're gonna try out the gloss. It applies very liquidy. I wanna see how it dries down. It feels so buttery and luscious. It's definitely like a new transparent because you can see that the color that I put under it is showing up better than that actual gloss, but I did cut a lot. But this gloss is bomb. Let me swatch it. Y'all know I don't do swatches. This, this, this is how good this is. Y'all, look at that. You see how it's like a nice nude, but it's like a glossy, transparent. The gloss is a yes. All right, so this is the completed face. Let's go ahead and talk about it. So the setting powders, were just a little bit too light for me. So as I stated earlier, I did not repurchase the setting powders, but as powders themselves, I think they do work decent. They work decent. Um, they're not better than things that I already have. So I probably, I know I won't be getting them, but if you're looking for a second setting powder, I would recommend the Beauty Bakery. Um, the concealer. The concealers are really bright, especially for it to be a company for uh, a black owned company. Um, they do have shades for everybody, but with them knowing how hard it is to find like foundations and concealers for our tone, I feel like they could have did a little bit better with the concealers, but I still do like the concealer. It came out really good and you can always finesse a concealer. Like if it's bright, um, you could always get like a, a tinted setting powder and, um, you know, cause you're always gonna set your concealer and bring it down a little bit, which is what I did. But this concealer, I actually do really like much better than the first one that I got. So I do like the concealers. They're actually very good. They're uh, thick, full coverage. So I would recommend the concealer, um, the foundation. It was a little hard to find my shade uh, with the Ulta matching tool and the Beauty Bakery matching tool. But once I found my shade, I love it. Uh, the foundation will get, will, get a 10 out of 10 for me, honey. Okay. 10 out of 10 for the foundation. Um, it's still shiny. I, it's been like five, 10 minutes in the gloss is still glossy. It's not making my lips feel dried out or anything. So the lip gloss gets a 10 out of 10 setting spray. Also, I would give that a 10 out of 10. So I would definitely recommend beauty bakery. Um, if you have trouble finding your shade, that's what the associates are there for. That's what the matching tool is there for. Um, so Ultimately, I got the shade that I needed. It's, it, the shade thing was just harder because of Corona. They do have it to where you can try it in the store. So um, yeah, go, girl, go get you some Beauty Bakery. Everything that I use on my face will be listed on in the description box. And I also will be including pop-ups on the screen. So you would have seen that already. But thank you so much for watching. And go get you some Beauty Bakery, girl. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Keep up with Sheen Boo all the time instagram twitter periscope sheen sheen boo you already know hey like comment and subscribe keep up with sheen boo all the time snapchat and all of that you already know where sheen boo is at sheen and sheen boo you already know Good night, Los Angeles!